Hey guys, what's up, Taurus? Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. <clears throat> this is going to be a reading for your immediate future. The situation and the obstacles in your way and the outcome of that situation. Keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. So this could be your energy or the energy of the person that you're dealing with. So flip flop it how you need to. Also keep in mind this is a general reading. So it may not resonate for everybody. But if it does with you today, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. <clears throat> also, if you guys would like to contact me for a personal reading, you find that information below as well. Alright, Taurus. Immediate future for Taurus. It's coming up for Taurus. All right, guys, let's get it. All right, need a future for Taurus, please. Coming up for Taurus. Thank you. Same eight of pentacles, so you guys could be really focused on your money, your business, your job, something like that. We'll be studying a lot. All right. Ooh. Well, there you go, Taurus. The Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Hopefully it stays that. Ooh. All right. Ten of Wands at the bottom. So there's something you've been fighting for. Someone has. It could have been, you know, like a lot of weight that you've been carrying or something like that. Show me this Eight of Pentacles for Taurus, please. For the immediate future. Eight of Pentacles for Taurus. Ah, all right. The devil could be dealing with a Capricorn. Could work with this person. Talking about this devil. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. So you've been really like focused on your work. The Queen of Swords is pretty dedicated to her work and that type of thing. All right, so there could be someone who's like uh, wanting to reach out to you. Why the devil though? I don't understand. You could work with a major corporation here. Someone sees you happy. They want to communicate with you, but it's like they're afraid that you're going to reject this offer. There could be an offer right in front of your face. Why the devil, though? Because with the Queen of Swords there, it doesn't look like you've been focused on <clears throat> much else but work. Could be that somebody is watching you happy. Somebody could have a lot of like sexual desire for you. Like definitely attracted to your looks. All right, hold on. I want to know why the devil is here. In the middle of that, right next to the sun. Why is the devil here for Taurus? Ew. All right, you're not missing someone. Somebody is watching you, possibly like at your job, watching you like happy. There's like a carefree energy around all this. But the way they're seeing you is like almost with lustful eyes. This could have, if this is someone from your past, it's, oh, it could be like, um, it's almost okay. This person could uh, not like to see you happy right now. They possibly have some regrets because things ended. You could have straight cut this person out, especially because you're in Queen of Swords mode. Um, so now like somebody is kind of not paying attention. It's like you're more focused on your work and you're happy with that. Um, but 
in the middle of it all you have is devil because you could have cut someone out with this sword right and they're like there's something shocking somebody is wanting they're having some regrets now they're wanting something new show me this ace of cups for Taurus. this person could be like obsessively watching you while you're at work I don't think you've noticed them though. They could want to approach you here, but um, they are they're afraid you're gonna reject their offer. Show me this ace of cups for Taurus. For the immediate future. This is it looks like a new beginning to something pretty damn beautiful. Yeah, damn, the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands. That's why this devil is here. Like somebody is um has like an extremely lustful eye for you. They like they watch you and I don't know, maybe it's a little lustful or a little creepy. So the moon's here. Um Pisces energy. There's something new coming for you <clears throat> that you're not seeing yet. I feel like there's like a lot of passion between this and it, it you know you have been happy it looks like or this communication is going to make you happy because there's something new that's trying to start right and you're going to take a leap of faith towards it or possibly this person is but i don't think you're seeing it yet uh with this this you could be keeping it to yourself when you do um keeping it hidden but i kind of see this as something coming towards you that you're not even seeing because i don't think this person is spoke like the way this devil is just sitting here in these cards um it's almost like he's peering through like he's watching you but i don't think he spoke yet because he thinks that you're going to reject his offer because you could be intimidating as hell coming in as the queen of swords with that um eight of pentacles like you really have your shit together at least like in your financial world and so it's kind of like this person's just been peeping through watching you. All right. Ooh. All right. Show me this ten of, ten of cups for Taurus, please. Show me this. Oh, shit. All right. Everything is on one card. Ten of cups for Taurus for the outcome for the immediate future, please. Ten of cups for Taurus. This moon could also be this person hiding that fact, but that's, I think there's something new there. Show me this Ten of Cups for Taurus, please. Thank you. The Emperor could be dealing with the Aries, but it could be this person, um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, putting on his big boy pants and coming, <laughs> put, coming towards you here. Yeah, look. All right. These just popped over. So this is your heart space. Even if it's something new, it's it's your emotional fulfillment. So it's this person kind of coming out of the shadows, um, putting on their big boy britches, um, at least communicating here. But somebody is manifesting you. This is your energy. This person's energy could have been pulled in the past. Um... But this is also about balance because you have the Ten of Pentacles. So whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, like you're, you're doing the damn thing. The Ten of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles, this is your energy, especially if you're starting your own business. It'll be very successful. The Queen of Pentacles knows how to get that kind of shit done. This person is trying to come back, though, like trying to come out of the shadows. They're trying to manifest you. If their energy was pulled, they want this balance because they're regretting now doing that. Um, so for some of you, it could almost be, I don't want to freak anyone out. It could almost be like stalkerish. <laughs> like something about your job. And the only reason I say that, um... For some of you, for others of you, this person is just really lusting over you and, you know, you could work with them or something like that. 
But with the Five of Cups here, this is some somebody's trying to manifest because they have some type of remorse about something. They let you down about something. So you don't see this person coming right now. But I mean, there it is your heart space. They do want to manifest you. And I think that's because, you know, you're standing on your own too. You're very, uh, you could be intimidating as well. So this person could just kind of be in the background, scared to approach you. But they will. Yeah, could be done with another earth sign. Could be done with a cancer with the chariot card there. But they're coming straight towards you. And there is balance here. The chariot is all about balance and a suited pair with the ten of pentacles. So um, there is a lot of stability and abundance behind this. Whatever this is that you're going towards. I don't know if it's the same person or not. But you don't see this yet. They haven't came out of the shadows, so to speak. All right, Taurus, hope this helps, hope this resonates. If so, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. You guys take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.